Hello everybody. Today I am going to put a screen protector on my phone. It's an iPhone 6 and it's just not any screen protector. It's actually the IntelliGlass Pro, which is a hardened glass. It's actually glass, not just a plastic cover. We'll see what's in this little box here. That looks like that's everything. All right, we've got a little packet of goodies here. It looks like a squeegee possibly, alcohol wipe and a Really soft, nice microfiber cloth and a lint collection film. Okay, we look like we got some instructions. And this must be, yep, there it is. Now, this is my second iPhone in a matter of just a couple months because I did drop the first one and crack the screen, believe it or not. So, I think this might actually be a good investment. All right, let's check these instructions and see what we got to do here. Looks pretty simple. It's all numbered in five quick, simple steps. All right. Well, you wash your hands. I've already done that, uh, knowing I was going to be messing with my phone. So I just washed my hands just a minute ago before we started this. So the next step, I've got to clean my device with the alcohol. All right. Well, little alcohol pad here. Might be child resistant. I'm having trouble. <laughs> All right, we'll just clean it up real good. All right, we'll save that in case we need it again. It says you're using the alcohol wipe. Uh, then it says to remove any streaks in the alcohol wipe, you use this little microfiber cloth. Should be good and clean. Now, the last thing we're supposed to do is use this dust removal or lint collection film. Let me turn it on and get some backlight on it, see what it's looking like. It looks like it's fairly clean. I just want to make sure that there is no uh, dust or lint from that microfiber cloth. I'm trying not to touch the screen, even though I just washed my hands. We don't still I want to get extra oil on the screen for my fingers. All right, set that aside in case we need to mess with that. Step number three. So the first step was wash your hands. Second step is you clean your device. Third step is you place your screen on. Try not to touch the adhesive side at all. I just took it right off the thing, keeping my fingers on the outside edges. I'm gonna line it up nice and slow to make sure I have it right. And just gently drop it on there. All right. And step four is to get rid of any bubbles. Now you start in the middle. You see it's already starting to hit here. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna let it run right there and let the air just run right out of it. Oh, wow, that's pretty neat. Okay, now, well, now I start pressing it down and start to secure it and work your way out. Just make sure you work all the bubbles out. And I don't know if you can see them on that camera, but there's really hardly any air bubbles in there. They kind of just work their way right out. So let me get it backlit. Maybe that'll help you. Well, there's none to see. <laughs> okay. Now that's on there, and I kind of worked some of the bubbles out. So I'm almost done, except step... Well... Step number four says to put it on and get the bubbles out, which I've done. And, well, four and five kind of run into each other. But step four and five says to get the bubbles out using the squeegee and the microfiber cloth. I'm assuming that's so you don't uh, damage the new screen protector. So you just cover it up and just make sure you work all the bubbles out of it. But I'm really not seeing any to work out, but I'm going to go ahead and just follow the steps just for simplicity. That's it, and that's on there. It's done. So now, that if you look in five minutes. Now, if you look closely, there's a small crack here. That's because I've already dropped this iPhone since I've got the new one. That's actually in the iPhone underneath, but I'm going to put this on there so I don't have any more cracks in it. And that's it. It's pretty neat. 